What's up, you guys? And welcome back to the latest episode of Heavy Weapon Concepts. And no, we're not going to be talking about the Tomislav once again today, but actually this device on Heavy's back, the Electroshocker. So, you might be wondering, what in the world does this weird Frankenstein-style box even do? Well, what if the Heavy had a way that he could be even more brave when playing on offense? I mean, sure, the Heavy already has 300 health and deals insane amounts of damage, but everyone knows Heavies can't stay out in the open too long, or their slow movement speed will get them killed. Well, that's essentially what this little box would look to help with, allowing the Heavy to deal his tons of damage, but then giving him a neat way to escape once he's finally been targeted. So, without any further ado, let's check out this concept by getting right into the stats. Starting with this weapon's positives, upon death, the Heavy will receive a 5 second uber charge as well as a 5 second burst of speed, allowing the Heavy to escape from taking any further damage. And this one stat alone changes the game for Heavy in multiple scenarios. Whether you're just being too laser focused on one target, trying to help your team burst through a hard chokehold, or you just got caught with your pants down by the local spy. This allows the Heavy to know that he can risk being a little more aggressive with his playstyle, which would seem like a dream to some players who feel like Heavy is often too based on just defense. But as an additional benefit, the Electroshocker can be used more than just once per life, only having to be recharged after being used. Now, I know what some of you are already thinking. This weapon sounds incredibly overpowered. I mean, seriously, if the Heavy was basically able to just escape every time his health got below zero, then how would you even kill him? Which brings us to our much-deserved downsides to this weapon. So, to begin, the Electroshocker effect will not activate until the Heavy has dealt 600 or more damage. Now, this might not sound like a big deal, but considering most of the mercenaries have less than 200 health, this means you'll essentially need to gather up about 4 to 5 kills worth of damage just to enable this ability, which isn't always as easy as it sounds. Unless you're just going to play really boring and safe from a distance, this weapon will require some level of skill to activate. Not only that, but also when this weapon finally does activate, you can't simply stand there and continue trying to fight. You frankly need to run for dear life, because while this effect takes place, you cannot deal damage to enemies, you can't pick up any ammo, and you can't receive any healing from health packs or medics. The only thing you really can do effectively is run, and you better get as far away as possible because you remain at exactly one health during this period. Lastly, and kind of obvious, but I thought was worth mentioning at least, you cannot equip any lunchbox items while using this item. And while that might not necessarily bother you since you can now risk taking more damage, it doesn't really make your medics want to stick with you either. So, while this weapon might seem like a fun idea, in its current state, I just see it being too overpowered. If it were put into TF2 tomorrow, people would guaranteed be complaining about it. So to fix this issue, here would be my suggestions. First off, let's make this weapon effect only work once per life. That way, even if it does make the Heavy a little stronger at first, it doesn't stay like that the entire game. I mean, I could see a really good Heavy just abusing this power if it weren't fixed and making the game really unfun for the other team. Secondly, I would completely disable the Electro Soccer's effect if you were being healed by a medic. In other words, you can't simply be getting actively healed by a medic and then still receive a get out of jail free card on top of that. It's either you go down with your medic or you escape with the Electro Shocker, but not both. And lastly, I would disable this weapon's effect entirely from medieval mode, because it's already challenging enough to kill Heavy in this game mode, so we don't need something else making that additionally more difficult. Anyways, overall, I've gotta say, I thought this was a really cool concept for a heavy weapon, but I just don't actually see this make it into the game. And I figured since I've covered so many concepts I really could see getting into the game, I might as well be fair and cover some ideas for you guys that I don't see making into the game. But I just personally see this being a bit too irritating for the other team to face, and I think really good players could possibly exploit this to become essentially unkillable in game. And while I do think it would be great for some new weapons to incentivize Heavy to switch up their fighting style, I just wouldn't want that to come at the risk of ruining everyone else's fun in the game as well. But give me your thoughts, and maybe if you think it could be balanced. I still really enjoyed trying this weapon out and had a fun time testing it with some members of my Discord. Anyways, that about wraps up this episode. I hope you all enjoyed and found this concept as interesting as I did. And of course, until next time, this was Big Joey! Later.